will include, you will unintentionally exclude. So it's very important that you embrace diversity, you embrace inclusion. It really matters. Even the way you do advertising, I will show you some of the briefs. The way I write the briefs at the end, a brief must have diversity and inclusion and unstereotyping requirements. You must tell the agency what your diversity, inclusion, and stereotyping requirements are in the brief. Don't leave it to the agency. You need to be deliberate. You need to be proactive. You need to be intentional if you're going to unstereotype the, the user or the consumer, if you're going to unstereotype LGBTQ community, if you're going to unstereotype women. You need to be a lot more deliberate, intentional, and proactive in the brief. And if you don't do that, then you're going to make these mistakes that other companies that you already know have made recently. Next slide. The, there's one question that people ask me. Can you bring your whole self to work? I don't think you can, actually. I, I think work is it's not your work. It's not your company. Maybe if you're the founder of the company, maybe you can bring your whole self. Maybe. But once it gets listed, even the founder cannot bring their whole self. There's regulation, there's governance, there's shareholders, there's the board, there's the non-executive board. There's a lot of other people who are governing you, managing you. So there is no way you're gonna be able to do that. So unfortunately, I don't believe that you can bring your whole self. I think you can bring your best self to work. You can bring your best self, but expecting that you must bring your whole self Let's say your whole self is you are homophobic. Please, you keep your homophobia to yourself. Don't bring it to work. We don't need to hear that. We don't need to know that. You just keep it to yourself. Let's say you, you hate religious people. There are certain things just keep to yourself. It's unethical for you to, let's say you, you are a, a womanizer and you are chauvinistic. Those are not the things that you should be really saying, no, I, I want to bring my whole self to work. Please keep your shit to yourself. Some shit is ugly. We don't need to hear it. That's why I don't think you can bring your whole self to work. I think you can bring your best self to work. But to want to bring your whole self, please. Or if you want to do that, start your own company. Start your own university. Start your own shit. But to try and think you can do that in a place that you don't own, they pay you a salary, Please, I think you're dreaming and you're expecting too much. Next. I've already spoken about this. Next slide. You must also remember like in, in diversity and inclusion, there's something I've learned recently that in behavioral science, the brain, the parts that light up in the brain where there's social pain, are the same parts that light up when there's physical pain. That's amazing. So you need to be thinking hard about what you do, what you say, how you say it. So you need to really think hard. 